Hello my darlings and new viewers, how are you? And it's nice to see you back if you're a beautiful cider angel and also the new viewers. I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot <clears throat> on YouTube and from the new website that is in the air. You can find a little round circle here and if you click on that then you can uh, be put straight through to the website and I hope you do have a scout around there's beautiful information and reviews and different readings on offer and welcome if you're new and please subscribe and hit that bell and hit um, the subscribe button then it will be uh, saved in your library and then you will be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. I've just done the weeklies for the 24th to the 1st of March and this is your romance reading for March. I'm using the Angel, uh, Angel Oracle Romance deck and I'm using the T Titanius, um, Titanius uh, uh, Lena Mun deck. And I love this because I thought it's romantic and this is uh, pink so pink is associated with love so i thought i would combine it with this then i'm using the uh, angel answer deck um archangel michael deck and the angel feather oracle deck and the angel reading deck and of course uh thank you very much for being here and i hope you enjoy it and thank you very much for all your reactions i it does um uh, how do you call it, um, motivate me to keep on going. And uh, thank you very much for all your super chats, for the people that give me super chats in the live sessions. And it's amazing, the tea room. So I hope you will join us there if you haven't yet. And if you would like to become a cyber angel, then come into the life. Like I said, there's super chat and super stickers available. And on the website, you can find extensive readings. And you can also find all the information down below in the description box underneath this video. So let's get started. This is Pisces reading for March your romance reading and um, the first part is express your love express your love my darling go ahead and make a romantic gesture if you haven't done that yet or for a long time if you're partnered up it is a beautiful card and of course we all love to hear I love you or give a bunch of flowers or give a hug it doesn't have to cost anything if you are not partnered up, then I would suggest make a beautiful uh, gesture towards the one you love or fancy, because it could just change into a wish coming true, as you have the star. And be careful what you wish for, because it will come true. Sorry about that, Pisces. Um, um, Brenda just sent me a message. We do keep in contact every single day, whenever we can. Sometimes more than that, twice a day. And Brent from Brenda from Brenda Terror Readings. She's also a Reiki master and she's also a reader and she is also a Pisces. So I'm doing Pisces and she's, boom, sending me a message. Thinking about her um, thoughts give strength. So remember that. If you want something or you would like something, think about it. That's called manifesting. Okay, the second week you've got this card. This could be the one. Well, Brenda, we all know you have the star. You have the magic man. A lot of uh, people would love to have your husband. <laughs> I love you, Bren. Take care. Anyway, so this could be the one. And Brenda's, it's Brenda's birthday today. And it is also uh, her husband's, no, her husband's birthday today, and she will be uh, having her birthday tomorrow. So go to Brenda, uh, Ta uh, Brenda Tarot Readings, and on YouTube, and wish her a happy birthday. 
you've already met the romantic partner you seek Pisces. Okay, there you go. So if you want a Pisces reader, go to Brenda. She knows all about Pisces as well. And uh, I think you're lovely people. You're very emotional. You're very sensitive. You, your, your feelings might be extra sensitive at this time because um, it, I'm taping this on the 22nd of February. So we have actually gone into Pisces and welcome Pisces power. But the, it will be a very sensitive month. Uh, your emotions might be heightened. And I'm just really realizing it to now that we're already a day and a half in Pisces or two days. This is, well, half day um, in Europe because it is only half past two here. And so I'm, I've just come awake. <laughs> and this is a be, uh, exceptional video because I'm just talking to nobody except you. And I hope you understand that, you know, this is how the tea room works as well. You read cards and then you, you fall into a conversation. And I'm having a conversation with all you Pisces. I love you. Okay. And remember, you're, um, it's Mercury retrograde until the 14th, so don't sign anything, um, especially if you're uh, sensitive uh, or emotional. Don't get emo too emotional. Um, just wait until the 14th when Mercury has uh, gone because it's in retrograde, okay? It's got to come back. Retrograde means gone to regret. Uh, re re uh, yeah, gone back. is gone. A retrograde means going back. Okay, you might have a happy birthday if it is your birthday and for every Pisces in the coming month, four weeks. You might meet a friend, a special person, or your perspective might change on a friend. Because this friend, you've got the dog. This means faithfulness, loyalty and trustworthy. And you might be lucky in the second week if you haven't met up with somebody or hitched up with somebody, hooked up with somebody. That's better English. Sorry for my English. I am Dutch after all. Although I've lived 28 years in England, but that was 25 years ago. So you do lose your language. So happy birthday uh, to the Pisces from yesterday and happy birthday to the Pisces today and tomorrow. And I forgot to say that in the weekend reading. Go and have a look if you haven't as such yet. Then in the third week you have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes we always think, we, I can do that, I can do that, and I will do that. But there again, you get a saying, I get a saying in my head with this card, many hands make light work. And doing, uh, accept help from friends, be creative about it. If your house needs painting, then do a paint party. It's great fun. You might even meet up with somebody new um, if you are not hooked up yet. And that could be in the third week. And wow, luck is all over. Luck is here all over your month in the second week, in the first week, and now in the third week. You've got the bunch of flowers. You might be receiving help from somebody or a gift. Wow. And also luck. Oh, now we're going to the fourth week. And remember, the energy could flow all around the whole month because time is man-made. Things happen in divine time. This is your soulmate. He might be coming in or might have already come in and your head over heels in love. Ah, yes. Yes, this is your soulmate, my darling. Enjoy it and get to know each other by communicating and trusting each other. And I think this soulmate is trustworthy. Like I said, a friend, your perspective on a friend might change in the second week. That might be your soulmate. Boom. You see how these cards work together? But be careful of 
uh, sly and conniving people. That's the downside on this card. But on the other hand, the upside is perhaps you might have to um, work to deadline or details. Cross your T's and dot your I's. Perhaps you might have to remember that it is somebody's birthday or you have to remember don't focus uh, focus on details so that you don't fall back into old habits of going out with the wrong person a mean person don't trust too quick take it step by step ask help from others perhaps their advice ah beautiful reading now we're going to the answer of the angels my darling and like i said be careful of sly people and what do you get reconsider the good side is that this person might be focused on details and uh, crosses his t's or her crosses her t's and dot her their eyes they are precise is that what you can cope with or do you want somebody that also wants to be playful and express their nurturing and caring side. I've especially used the Lenormon without the um, clover for ones and the um, clover hearts and diamonds and I always forget the, the swords, the spades. Um, so there is no sign coming in specifically. It can be anybody because I want to highlight it that anybody could be with anybody and I don't want to specify any signs so that you are going to look for that person. Open your heart and accept the love and, and purity, loyalty and trust. That is what a relationship is built on and communication and respect. So if you don't have respect, love, nurturing or uh, loyalty or trust, then reconsider the whole situation. So for um, the Archangel Michael card, you have the spiritual protection and you've got a golden card, which is amazing. The golden cards are protection cards. You've got the spiritual protection card, silence and solitude. Now the silence and sol solitude is sometimes it's better to be silent and be alone instead of having a poisonous negative energy around you. Okay. Archangel Michael calls you to connect with him on a deeply spiritual level during prayer and reflection. And like I said, your spirituality or intuitiveness and your emotions might be heightened in this month, uh, Pisces, because we are in Pisces. On the other hand, you might be right in your element because we are in your sun sign. This shield is symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a powerful tool of protection. Archangel Michael assists you now to connect with him as a means of strengthening your union with the universe or God. Some people rather refer to the universe as God. During quiet reflection and prayer, you apply your mind to the divine via peti uh, petitioning, praise and thanksgiving. Archangel Michael delivers all prayers with love so that you may obtain all the gifts and graces required for your highest good or for the highest good of another. That could be your potential partner. Sorry, my arm is hurting. <clears throat> the process of prayer elevates your mind and heart to a knowledge 
and love of divine things and brings confidence and strengthens your present connection with God or the divine and his angels. Archangel Michael will guide you to comfortable ways of strengthening your connection to the divine. He will guide you to the words to use formal prayer to create an angel altar in your home perhaps, to light a candle, meditation or sitting quietly. Um, or the, uh, these practices of meditation or praying in church, music to a church or spiritual development group and will importantly assist you to find time to connect with him on a deeper level. It is time to sit quietly in reflection. Archangel Michael says stillness is the gateway to peace. That's very profound. Indeed, stillness is the gateway to peace, especially when you take five minutes out in the morning or ten minutes and five or ten minutes at night. You go to your center and just give yourself a little bit of love and romance. If you don't love yourself, you can't love another. Take care of yourself otherwise you can't take care of an other. That is what my mum used to say. It will bring you closer to the source, to your own source and the source of the divine. Beautiful card. The next card that you have, uh, Pisces, is the Sunlight Yellow Angel. Well, 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 this is your solar plex. This is your solar plex chakra, the yellow. Open your solar plex. Happiness awaits you. You are in your power. It is your month. You are in spotlight, the sunlight. Beautiful how the angels do work. I didn't pick the cards, they did. The sunlight yellow angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of happiness. The angels ask that you connect with the solar magic and energies of the sun as you walk outside. This is, after all, your sun sign, Pisces. The month, the romance reading, and your birthday month. The, this radiant energy will usher in fresh feelings of motivation and cheerfulness. The solar rays energize the solar plexus chakra, which promotes self-awareness and individual power. This re uh, revitalization will give you the ability to face your inner fears and inhibitions. Through the sun's illumination, you will develop a fresh, bright approach to your life. Happiness awaits you. Other symbols of sunlight yellow angel feather is creativity, warmth, new home, focus, inspirational thought. The crystal that you can wear or the stone is the sunstone, gold, amber and heliodor or citron. The angels that are associated with this card is also the solar plex uh, angel and that's a jo uh, jo archangel jovial and also angel skakakil angel of sun ray rays angel shamshil and that's the angel of the light of day and the day light angel for hamana is angel of optimism wow Absolutely amazing. So, if you need help, seek jovial to get joy, sweetness, love and honey in your life. Or ask the angel Shashil and Shamshil and Fohamanha. Go. 
the affirmation you can do is I'm open to receive happiness. I'm filling my body and soul with happiness. I'm spending time every day doing things that make me smile and feel happy. There you go. Then the last card for you, Pisces, we have the Angel of Clair Audience. These are beautiful cards. Look, the angel is whispering ideas, telling her and she's listening so she can hear the angel. Be open to hear new sounds. Go and sit in the quietness and listen to your own thoughts. Listen to the sounds around you. What do, does your feelings say? That is the message. New ideas, new perspective. Perhaps warnings of negative energy. Energy vampires. So be aware of energy vampires. But you've got a lot of love and beautiful things happening for you this month. So enjoy this month, Pisces. Take care and God bless. And have a look at Brenda Tarot readings. And please leave your re re reactions below this video. And give a thank you very much for giving the thumbs up and sharing with family and friends. And click that subscribe button and the bell. And I hope to meet you soon. Take care.